Welcome back to Kelly Tech. Thanks for tuning in, guys. All right, so today we're going to talk about the Dreamcast. So, oh my gosh, most underrated console ever. Maybe not ever, but close. I mean, it had uh, 56K at first, and then it got network, Ethernet cable. You know what I mean? So you got some good speeds out of it. It could browse the Internet, had a keyboard, had a mouse. Uh... The memory cards were just cool as heck in themselves. You could snap them together and play with your friends, you know, against your friends on little silly games. Like, Dreamcast just had so many possibilities. And, unfortunately, it made about 250 U.S. games. And I'm not sure about the other regions. but And then it just died out. Pretty sad. Sad story, the Dreamcast. But, those 250 games, you can just play them. Burn them to a CD, play them. It's actually that easy. If you got a burner, you got a CD, and you got a Dreamcast, you got a game of your choosing. A lot of people get the GDEMU boards, and I think that's pretty sweet. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, if you can't afford to do that or you just don't want to, uh, you can definitely burn the games you like on a disc. You know, burn your library. Like, I have Soul Reaver. Uh, so, you could... Okay, so first off, you have to have a, um, a game. So, let's get a game. Um, okay... So I think it's called Legacy of Cain. So I'll go in the L here. Yep, Legacy of Cain. So click that. And I have the original copy of this. You've probably seen it in previous videos. And not too long, a couple minutes it took me to get that. So show and folder. Let's go ahead and extract files to desktop just to make it easy oh, that was fast I think it was about 500 megabytes or something so there's our game legacy of Kane soul reaver so we have to install our software Okay, so here is, I'll leave a link in the description below. But, uh, you know, here's some mirrors. Pick one, download it, install it. It's not difficult at all. Just a double click, next, 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 finish type situation. Um, this right here, you're going to have to download. So here it is. And you're going to have to ex extract it. So it's going to be kind of hard to follow, but that ain't too bad. So extract to. BC. And then program files x86. Image burn, and that's exactly where we want to put it. As you can see, I've already put mine in there, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and redo it, so it's fine. There's three files, I believe. Yep, and that is all you have to do to get this software to burn. Dreamcast games. So we're done with the software part of this. If you get a GDI, it's an exact replica of the game, so it's not going to boot. But if you get a CDI, it's already been, you know, it's already got the boot files in it. So let's hope somebody went through the trouble to make it. Should work, right? Let's stick a disc in. Oh, I had the hardest time. Like, uh, 
Not too long ago, everyone had a CD-ROM, DVD-ROM, you know, Blu-ray-ROM, whatever, on their front of their computer. And then just one day, you know, gone. Like, no one has a CD-ROM anymore. It's really weird. Or a DVD-ROM. So I had to dig out some uh, USB-style DVD burner that I had. And here it is. Whatever it is. It's a Samsung TSS Corp. It says Samsung on the top. But anyways. Okay, so I double-clicked it. It brought it up for me. I put the disc in. It's ready to roll. It's that simple. All I got to do is hit that button and it'll start burning. So the source, Legacy of Kane, which is right here. And the destination is going to be the disc. And mm, a lot of people say you have to burn it at four. And I'm going to do it just because I only have a couple discs. <laughs> I don't want to take a chance, but that is one of the things they say, like burn at 2.5 or 4, 4 is supposed to be the max from what I re remember. So I'm going to go ahead and start the burn. Legacy of Kane. Hmm, I can see an error. It actually says the drive only supports writing these discs at 10, 16, 20, and 24. I selected four. Um, it says, yeah, wanted four, got ten. So they're burning at ten right now. It's having a really rough time, too. Yeah, that's weird. The device buffer went all the way down. The buffer went all the way down. Hmm. It, there might be separate bins in the ISO, so maybe that's why. We'll just say that's what it is. Looks like it's going to take six minutes, so I'll see you in six. All right, so we got a weird rate of 8.8 .8 burn speed. Like I said, if you can, burn them at 4 to 2.5, something like that. I guess my, <laughs> my little cheap burner, it only burns at certain speeds, so... That's what I was stuck with, but it might still work. It should still work, actually. <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> it's been a long time. All right. All right, so we downloaded the game. We extracted it. We burned it onto a disc. Now I think it's time we should go see if it works. Let's head on over to the Dreamcast. Alright guys, back at the Dreamcast. So here's the original. There's really no need to boot that up, of course it works. So, alright, let's power around. So here is our disc that we burnt of Legacy of Kane. All right, here we go, guys. Oof. It says revive DC project or yeah in a the corner there 
Yeah. So that means that it's got the boot file. Sweet. Look at that. Bam. So it's that easy, guys. You just gotta get a CDI file, not a GDI file. And it will just burn and play on your Dreamcast. Well, guys, appreciate you guys coming on this journey with me. You know, if you got some, you got an old burner and some CDs laying around, you could you could be having some fun. Uh, just kind of wanted to show you guys. You don't have to have a GDEMU. In all honesty, I mean, there's what ten games you like, and that's about it. <laughs> so you could burn your ten. You know what I mean. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something, and as always, have a tech day.